everyone this is tim from your six studios today in this video i'm going to go ahead and show you how to use your controller on steam with any pc game even if it doesn't support a controller so let's go ahead jump the video right now So I have this custom PS5 controller right here by AIM that I'm going to be using with a keyboard and mouse game on the PC called New World. Now this is an MMORPG and it has a lot of button clicks and I'm going to be remapping a lot of different buttons on my controller specifically for that game. So I'm going to plug it in with a USB cable or with the PlayStation 5 controller you do have the option to connect via Bluetooth. So let's switch over to my PC right now, then connect my controller and you should see your controller connect in the bottom right side of the screen. Mine just connected. Now in the upper right side of the screen, you have an option for big picture mode. If you select this, it will launch Steam into the controller mode where it takes up the entire screen just like this and you should be able to control it with your PlayStation 5 controller, PS4 controller, Xbox controller, or whatever. Now let's go up to the settings right here, and then go down to the controller settings. Now select your configuration. So if you got the PlayStation controller selected, go to PlayStation configuration right here. Then go down to your controller, and then go through the preferences. You can rename it, you can put on Rumble, take it off. Uh, select the LED color, brightness, etc. Then I'm going to go to submit or cancel. Then go down to calibrate and calibrate your controller and figure out the dead zones where you want those or just go through the full like calibration setup right here and do the same thing with your gyro and press OK. And you can see the dead zones right in the middle of my thumbsticks on my left and right one. Now let's go to OK. And if your dead zones are off, you may get like a lot of stick drift where your controller mouse will just slowly move across the screen like that. Or if you're aiming in a first person shooter, your aim will just slowly be up or down or across the screen. Now on the PlayStation controller, if you hold down the PlayStation button and then move the right thumbstick around, you will get the option for your mouse cursor to appear on the screen. And then you can use the right trigger to go ahead and select things on the screen as well. So let's go to back now, since we got that set up. Then you go, go to base configurations. If you wanna change the button layout for the desktop version of Steam, or when you're in big picture mode for your controller, you can change all these buttons around on here. So if you wanna move around with some other button other than like your thumbstick, if you wanna use your um, touch pad to move around you could do that too and remap it on there as well And you also have the options for like when you're in the web browser right here What the different buttons will be on here? So like it's got the zoom option for the left thumbstick right here I can select this and I can completely customize everything on here as well so let's go back now since we have our controller selected and Working let's go to library so let's choose one of our games right now. So here is New World, top left. I'm gonna select this. So this does not support a controller whatsoever. Um, what I can do is I can go down to Manage Game. Now under Manage Game, if we go to the right, we have two options. We have Controller Options, and then we have Controller Configuration. So let's go to Controller Configuration first. And this is my current controller configuration for New World MMORPG. Now this is one I kind of got from the community. So if I press square, right at the bottom, you can see all the different options. So if I go to browse configurations, and here's my personal configuration for the game. But if I, I go down to community, and then go through this list right here, these are all the different PlayStation 5 controller configurations. But if I go to show other controllers, I can see um, Xbox controller configurations, PlayStation 4 controller configurations will also work for your PS5 controller. And if I select one of these configurations, I can see how that person has everything remapped. So it looks like, you know, button 4, 3, 5, and 6 are mapped to the D-pad. Here's all the different move options. And then when you click the right thumbstick in, 
it will be the H key on your keyboard. And then you got all the different buttons on here as well as your touchpad. Looks like the touchpads are mapped to M, which will be the map, etc. So you can find many, many different custom configurations on here. Then when you have this up, all you have to do is apply it by pressing square and it will be mapped to your controller now. So when I go back now, I can launch the game and I should be able to use my controller in that game with that configuration. Now, one thing that's really cool is I can go to joystick and mouse and I can completely customize like the mouse sensitivity. I can go to additional settings. If I want different response curves, if you played Warzone, you know re what response curves are like linear, uh, relax, wide, etc. Then I can go to uh, certain dead zone types. I have circle on. Then for my dead zone configuration, I can go to calibration based off of what I was doing in the settings before. Otherwise, I can just go to configuration. And I can adjust it manually for this game right here. So if my aim is just a little bit off, I can control everything with the controller. So these can get really detailed like in the game when I'm in my inventory, I have a specific window and settings for when I'm in my inventory, what I can do like I can link items to chat by pressing in my left thumbsticks. So this can get really, really detailed uh, depending on how much you wanna go ahead and get into it. Then also you have controller options right here. I'm forcing my input on per game and then I have my rumble on as well. So now that I have my controller set up, let's go to my game and then go to play right now and select X on this. It'll start up the game. So with big picture mode, everything should launch by itself. The only problem is sometimes you get some MMORPGs where you have to like type something in like your username and a password uh, before you can launch it. That gets a little bit annoying. However, New World is linked to your account. So it'll just start everything up by itself and it'll be full screen. And there is no separate like um, launcher or browser. Okay, so I am in the game right now, New World. I can press the PlayStation button and then open up the screen at any point in time where I can open up the keyboard. I can toggle my controller HUD. I can exit the game right here. I can go to the configurations once again, and I can remap this while I'm in the game and then apply it. So if something's not working, I can quickly go to this screen. Then the controller options right here once again. Then I have access to everything on here as well, like my web browser, then my chat. I can open this up if I want to chat with my friends. So if you are on your TV, this will work very well and easy. So that is how you use a controller in any Steam game using custom configurations for the game. So if this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on your six studios.